Hello folks, welcome back to another review and thoughts on. On a film I saw previews for many, many years ago and never got around to seeing it until now. Uh, Girl House, which is a decent slasher uh, movie. It's about this girl who she doesn't have enough money for her college tuition, so she tries webcamming, and she goes on, she joins a site called, uh, Girl House, which is like a porn version of Big Brother or whatever other, uh, reality shows, or web shows, um, so, uh, it's sort of, like, basically his web, uh, webcam girls, or, or I guess they also, like, they talk to the guys on there, it's sort of like that movie Cam, except it's not, this one isn't supernatural, um, but the movie starts out with a kid, and, if you know Selena Kyle is from Gotham, and, yeah, she's in this at the beginning in the prologue, Pretty much we get a backstory of the killer before we see him don the mask. Um, who we learn his nickname is Loverboy, I guess, because he, cause he flashed uh, Selena Kyle and because she promised that she would flash him, but then she doesn't. And then they make fun of his, you know, and he doesn't like that. So he murders her, throws her off a bridge, and then we cut to many, many years later, I guess this lover boy, we don't, we never know his real name, or his life, really, other than, I guess, he is a pr computer programmer, kind of, he's sort of like a, a hardware uh, programmer, I guess, I guess he's a hacker, because he hacks this girl house. And, because pretty much he, he goes by the name Loverboy, and he talks to these webcam girls on that site, and he's like a regular on there, and then the new girl shows up, and pretty much he becomes obsessed with her the most, so then pretty much it's a... Really, the movie at the beginning is more of a, he's not really doing much but typing, uh, you know, he's pretty much typing away at her and the other girls, and we see, I guess he lives in a basement, because, like, that's all we ever see where he is, except one scene where he's working, like, at this office, where he's, like, trying to fix this, uh, computer software stuff, and like, he has, like, a, a thought of a woman, because pretty much, he sees, like, this woman at an office, at her desk, and, like, she's wearing a skirt, but then she, like, opens her legs, even though she, she, like, knew what she was doing, and then, pretty much, she, like, threatens the, uh, for harassment or whatever, and then, in his mind, he hits her with a pipe or whatever, but in real life, he doesn't, of course. Then the movie be over because they can get arrested for uh, that. And so pretty much the movie goes on between the uh, main girl, Kylie, who she goes back and forth with an old friend from kindergarten. Uh, this guy who had a crush on her, she never knew about it. Then they start talking. Because pretty much he catches, his his roommate catches her on the girl house site. So then that's what, what dra uh, drives them to try to reconnect with her. I And I kind of like that character, the, uh, the guy, the boyfriend, I guess. It, because pretty much they do start dating. Um, I do think it was kind of douchey uh, in, in terms of like the whole... These, the girl house, uh, 
the cam girls. They know love. They don't, like they don't know what he looks like, but basically, like they make fun of him, even though he's talking right to them, like typing away, and they're like insulting him while they're talking to him. I'm like, uh, why are you doing that? <laughs> You're making it worse for you to for him to just come there and kill you. And pretty much he come, he goes to that house. Well, first he goes to the the um the uh the headquarters of the place first kills all of them except for the boss I guess but then I think he dies at the end I guess he bled out and pretty much this lover boy guy has the uh device that controls the house locks and everything they have they introduce this this uh first security guard who I guess he's supposed to be the head security guard but I'm like yeah, right. Because he dies so easy, like he's so stupid. He just, he's like, "Hey!" And then because he sees Lover Boy walking up to the place, he's like, "Don't make me warn. Don't make me have to warn you again." And then he, all he does is mace him in the eye or whatever. And then uh, the killer totally goes ham on him. There's some decent kills, like with the Asian girl. He stabs her with a horn in the back of the neck on the floor, even though her death could have been, I think she could have survived, but she decided to, no, I'm going to try to fight him, even though he left her alone, like, he to he tossed, he threw her off the top, uh, stair railing, and then she survived that, he was about to kill her, I guess, but then he decided to leave her alone and go for the other girls, but then, as soon as he come back in the house, she decides to stab him, and then he, that would drive him to Stick her with a horn. And then we have, of course, other characters who die. Like the two lesbian girls. The uh, black girl. who She was weak to begin with. Like, she hit him once. And then cried. Like, don't kill me, please. All he had was a hammer in his hand. And he kills her. But then, it's weird. Because, like, it cuts when he raises his hammer up, but then when we see her again, she has a a, a, a a pool stick in her, so I didn't understand that. But pretty much the lead girl, uh, oh, the blonde girl who's a douche, kind of rude, she ends up dying, killing her own self, because, oh, I can't bear to, because pretty much what he does with her is he carves her face a little bit and then cuts her fingers off, and she's still alive, but, like, she, she can't bear to live this way with the scars, so she suffocates herself, and I'm like, wow, she was a waste of a character, and a waste of a kill, because, like, I'd rather he had killed her, and so she just, whatever, and then, this down to, um, the, the uh, main girl, and pretty much this movie, if you saw Halloween Resurrection, and it's sort of like that, except if Halloween Resurrection was better. And, because pretty much the killer is basically Michael Myers. He wears a mask, Leatherface style, with long hair, which I actually liked his look in this. I thought it was creepy. He's a big dude, but, like, uh, in, in terms of, like, the heavy side. But he, a uh, big man can move, <laughs> for sure. On, he's light on his feet. Um, and I thought that was... Like, whoa. Big man, he's a big dude, but, like, he... He could sure run, speed up, and just bulldoze you. Um, but, yeah, pretty much the lead girl. It's the uh, guy that she's dating trying to get to her. And trying to get the police there, but pretty much this location... The girl house is pretty much not... Uh, it's a secret location, but then they figure out where it is, of course, at the end. And she pretty much kills the killer, uh, Buffalo Bill style in Silence of the Lambs, which I'm not a fan of that movie, but that's where uh, pretty much is a flip on it, except it's not Buffalo Bill doing it, it's the protagonist uh, pulling lights off and filming the killer and then killing the killer. And she doesn't hesitate when she decides to smash his face in with the camera. And I guess she'll have P P PTSD after this. 
because she doesn't want to be cam she doesn't want to be on camera ever again, which I don't blame her for her what she had to what she survived through. And uh yeah, she survives. The guy and her roommate get there and even though he didn't really do much. But uh Yeah, the movie ends with her surviving. I guess they're gonna live together or whatever and go on with their lives, even though she'll be scarred for life mentally through that. Um I believe the actor that played the uh, boyfriend or whatever, isn't he in Happy Death Day? I'm pretty sure in both of them. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I liked the movie all right. I didn't think it was amazing, or as a lot of people seem to praise it. It was all right. Like I was not really bored, but kind of, oh, he's killing this girl. Okay, he's going over here to kill her. Okay, he kills that girl. Like, and some kills were f okay to decent to... Oh, cool. Except the one the one kill really that I liked was the one where he kills the one, uh, I guess, the security... Or no, this uh, computer programmer guy. Where he basically knocks him on the ground and then just uh, bangs, his, bangs the door between... Bangs his head between the door... Over and over again. I thought that was. That was like the best kill in the movie. I was like whoa. But uh yeah. Overall that was Girl House. Uh, again it was a. Alright film. I wouldn't say it's amazing. Or great. The acting was actually pretty good by the main girl. And actually liked the boyfriend character. He was a decent guy. Uh, the roommate of the boyfriend was pretty funny. Um, he was also a hacker, but, um, but yeah, overall, I liked the movie, all right, so, till next time, peace, love, like, comment, subscribe, or, yeah, peace and love, take care.